You are someone who is called couch potato. If you do these 10 things regularly, you will never have to worry about weight loss as a goal because this episode is about weight loss. If I woke up 10 kg heavier and if I wanted to lose that weight in a sustainable manner, sustainable because statistically 9 out of 10 people who lose weight end up gaining it back. When your goal is fat loss, the split of carbs and fat does not really matter as long as your calories and your protein is range bound. Most important hack, have a protein loaded breakfast. It's going to control your hunger for the rest of the day. It's going to keep you very energetic. It's great for your blood sugar and building muscle is the only only long term weight loss solve so if you don't want to do that even if you don't want to lift weights i'm going to tell you one of the most elite fat loss skills that i've learned over a period of time if i woke up 10 kg heavier and if i wanted to lose that weight in a sustainable manner and i'm saying sustainable because statistically 9 out of 10 people who lose weight end up gaining it back for some reason or the other and if i wanted to lose that weight without really crashing my metabolism and creating havoc in my system this is exactly what i would do in fact i have done this before and i've never looked back there was a point in time when i was 88 kgs very unhealthy in terms of my habits and lifestyle and i have been around 68 to 70 kgs for many many years now so i know exactly what works i want to make you familiar with that system but before we get into it i just want to acknowledge that losing 10 kgs is a very steep target and if you want to lose 10 kgs or maybe more you're going to have to make sure that your discipline comes into picture your support system kicks in but more than anything you're going to have to make sure that you have systems that work so let's get into it first things first like i said support system And now you might have thought that I'm going to talk to you about a caloric deficit. I will get to it. But even before you get to how many calories you eat, how many calories you burn, it is the support system. So when you identify and when you accept that you need to lose whatever amount of weight, the first thing that you need to do is have an open heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your family, your partner, your friends. or anybody who can like really influence you know the amount of food you eat the kind of food you eat the kind of lifestyle you lead and this is exactly what you're going to do you're going to have a sit down and you're going to tell them that this goal is very important for me it's important for my health it's important for my future and i can't do it without you and i'm pretty sure if they love you they will agree if they don't i'm not an expert on relationships but i think you have to figure that out and i'm not going to get into that because this episode is about weight loss and talking about support system you know when i wanted to lose body fat and i wanted to get really shredded in the best shape of my life my wife asta she sort of woken up at about 4:30 every single morning just so that i can eat clean food just so that i don't give into the temptation of ordering food from outside and that's the kind of support that i'm talking about second once the above is aligned you have to make sure that you get a kitchen makeover done now it may sound complicated but it's very simple when you want to lose weight it's important how much do you eat and what do you eat so what you need to do is clear your kitchen of any kind of junk any kind of sugar or anything that can derail your goals just like the our very own john berardi from precision nutrition says if the food is in your reach you are eventually going to eat it when you want to lose body fat it's not easy right and you don't want to go out and start testing your motivation and like i said if the food is out there you may just limit that temptation once twice three times four times maybe max but at some point in time you're going to end up eating it and it's a big decision so make sure that you have that conversation with your family first and second thing clear the kitchen off and this is the exact same thing that i had done when i wanted to make that lifestyle shift when i want to make that identity shift in my own life when all of this is done let's talk science a little bit you've got to find out what your total daily energy expenditure is tdwe you need to understand how many calories does your body burn every single day it's a combination of four things first your bmr basal metabolic rate basically the amount of calories that your body is burning only to exist for you to 
be able to breathe for your organs to function and things like that second exercise so when you do any kind of purposeful exercise like hitting the gym weight training walk yoga anything that is purposeful the amount of calories that your body burns during purposeful exercise and then non exercise activity thermogenesis we call it neat in fact i will touch upon neat as a separate uh, topic in a short while basically how active you are through the day outside of the gym outside of that purposeful activity if you are very fidgety yeah that helps in your fat loss goals if you are someone who's doing a lot of household chores washing your car playing with your pets that helps and then finally thermic effect of food basically the amount of calories your body burns to digest the food that you eat there is a very simple method of calculating your total daily energy expenditure you can just go online search for a tdwe calculator just feed in some simple questions in terms of your activity levels body weight gender and it will give you an estimate of how many calories your body burns through the day it is just an estimate but it's a great start and over a period of time when you make some trial and error you will understand the number that you are actually at i will actually share the link in the description to the tdwe calculator feel free to use it it won't take more than a couple of minutes for you to find your tdwe out after that once you've done an estimate of how many calories your body is burning you're going to have to start prioritizing protein how do you do that you multiply your body weight in kilograms with 1.2 to 1.6 basically 1.2 to 1.6 gram of protein per kg of body weight So if you are a 70 kg individual it comes to 84 grams to 112 grams of protein a day. Now let's say you're having three meals in a day just divide it equally and you're good to go. The other macros your carbs and your fat. So basically when your goal is fat loss the split of carbs and fat does not really matter as long as your calories and your protein is you know range bound. So as long as you're eating balanced in terms of your carbs and fat you're good to go and that's not the number that you really have to obsess on most important hack have a protein loaded breakfast about 35 to 40 grams of protein in your breakfast it's going to control your hunger for the rest of the day it's going to keep you very energetic it's great for your blood sugar in fact in the cheat sheet i'm going to just put five high protein breakfast recipes so make sure that you download the cheat sheet from the description all right moving on once you've found out your total daily energy expenditure and you also understand how do you prioritize protein you have to now start getting into a caloric deficit because like i said the two most important things one calories and second protein protein because you need to be able to preserve/build muscle and calories because you will lose weight only when you are in a caloric deficit the most full proof way of doing that is to weigh and log everything that you eat but i do understand that it can get impractical i would however recommend that you do it at least for like a couple of weeks because it teaches you a lot about your own body but it's a very difficult behavior uh, to incorporate in your lifestyle for 365 days a year so if you don't want to do that i'm going to tell you one of the most elite fat loss skills that i've learned over a period of time it may sound really simple but it's actually not and you'll realize when you start doing it chew your food eat your food slowly and mindfully what happens then is it gives time to your system to your brain and your stomach to just communicate amongst each other and for the satiety signals from your stomach to travel to your brain it gives time for that and you already know by the time you're sort of 80 85% full you know that you you've kind of done your caloric target for the day if you eat slowly your digestion will also be a lot better and it will be much easier for you to build that caloric deficit so if you don't want to do food logging and things like that just learn how to eat slowly one hack or one way of doing that is set a 20 minute timer and then your food should just continue Uh, your lunch or your dinner should continue for those twenty minutes. In general, we eat a lot faster, and I'm sure you will agree. So learn how to eat slowly, prioritize my mindful eating, and it will be much easier for you to build that build that caloric deficit. After that, once your you know food is in place, strength training. 
strength training definitely helps why because strength training helps you build muscle and building muscle is the only long term weight loss solve because when you build more muscle your basal metabolic rate is higher uh, muscle is also the sink for glucose so your systems are much healthier and you're able to get more work done when it comes to strength training you've got to learn only the basic movement patterns bend and squat push pull bend and squat is basically doing a deadlift or you know getting up from a chair like a squat push is doing a push up or a bench press or a shoulder press pull is doing a pull up or or a horizontal row or even pulling a door single leg like walking up and down the stairs lunges or any kind of workout that pushes you to get on single leg and rotation where you know your spine is undergoing a rotationary uh, movement once you learn those movement patterns you can always load it even if you don't want to lift weights it's okay to use bands do body weight anything that you prefer but it's very important that you do some sort of strength training and if you are interested in you know get into strength training you can just watch one of our episodes that we have done in the past where we spoke about strength training and how do you program design and everything at length after that non exercise activity thermogenesis neat that's your weight loss superpower everything that you do outside of the gym and there's this very useful term that i found in the past it's called active couch potato what that means is that you can be going to the gym doing your strength training doing your 45 50 minutes 60 minutes of purposeful exercise but after that if you're still sitting for the rest of the day you are someone who's called an active couch potato and as per science you can be active because you are hitting the gym a few times a week but if you have too much sitting time if you are very sedentary for the rest of the day the negative health effects will still remain and most amount of caloric burn happens outside of the gym you're burning about 65 70% of your calories outside of the gym when you are walking around when you're doing your work when you're probably washing your car washing utensils or, or anything like that and that like i said is your weight loss superpower so if you're very sedentary just make sure you get up once in a while walk up and down park your car a little far away from where your office is take the stairs more often uh, avoid the elevators and things like that these are just very simple hacks that can dial in your non exercise activity thermogenesis and that just kick starts your metabolism that just make sure that you don't have to like worry about caloric burn day in and day out it needs to become a part of your lifestyle now start meditating and this may not even look like sound like a weight loss advice and i'm i'm pretty sure most people won't talk about meditation when they talk to you about weight loss but this has worked very well for me and once you start meditating once you get hooked to it you will realize and you will be surprised to know that weight loss is more about the mind than anything else if you can get control on your mind then you can get control on pretty much all other things that impact weight loss it's not calories in versus calories out right this is meditation you're sitting for 10 15 20 minutes and doing nothing so this is not directly going to impact your weight loss but indirectly very very impactful now if you don't know how to get started with meditation just use a guided meditation app like i do it's very hard for me to meditate on my own and i don't intend to or don't have the capability to become an expert in meditation and hence i use guided meditation apps you can use headspace calm whatever you like just make sure that 10 minutes every day you are meditating moving on avoid slash limit alcohol in fact i would say avoid when you want to aggressively lose weight or lose body fat you've got to avoid alcohol the calories that come from alcohol is the first thing that your body wants to lose your body does not want those calories those are empty calories deprived of all nutrition it comes with 7 calories with per gram of alcohol so it's in fact more calories than a gram of carbohydrate it comes with 7 calories per gram of alcohol and your body does not want it so you don't want to like impact your metabolism with alcohol when you want to aggressively lose weight alcohol also plays around with your mind it disrupts your sleep almost and not almost it for sure gets you to make bad food choices and of course that's not what you want when you're trying to lose weight so avoid alcohol it's not even like the best thing to do for your body anyway whether or not you want to lose weight but if you think that you cannot quit alcohol for good 
that's totally your call but during this phase i would suggest completely avoid alcohol and finally progress tracking it could be weighing yourself it could be waist circumference it could be progress pictures anything any one metric that you can use to hold yourself accountable if you choose to weigh yourself i would recommend that you do it every day and at the end of the week take an average because that way any of those weight fluctuations that can happen because of maybe bad sleep uh, difference in water intake or anything else that will be neutralized so you can weigh yourself every day and take an average at the end of the week if you do these 10 things regularly i can guarantee that you will never have to worry about weight loss as a goal and these are not very difficult things to do i do understand it can seem difficult in the beginning but make one step at a time slow changes and it will become a part of your lifestyle it will become second nature just like it has become for me now before you leave i would highly appreciate if you could just hit the subscribe button because if we have more subscribers it will help us increase our reach get better guests and get a lot more value content created for you thank you very much